Hey everybody, it's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today I am going to give you some helpful hints to put together your felt succulent wall hanging. Um, we've kind of been fighting with posting some of the videos that get a little bit longer and this one was going to be over 20 minutes. So uh, instead of actually going through and showing each one, I'm going to give you some hints about the best way, troubles that I ran into and how I fixed them. As usual, if you have any questions, please come talk to me at the library. You can email me at the library um, or you can call and talk to me at the library too. Uh, so what did we get in our bags? Well, there should be a handout for each type of succulent that we are going to have you make. Um, there should be five different forms and then the sixth one is how to put them into your wooden frame at the very end. Inside each one of these, because um, as you got them, they're sort of folded in half like this, um, will be the felt pieces that you need for each one. And there will be, um, those are going to be held together with paper clips, which are going to be very important as I'm going to show to you in a second. Um, and also your bright yellow glue, which uh, I hadn't used before, ooh -hoo, but this was the recommended glue for doing this kind of felt project. All right, so let me give you some helpful tips and tricks. I found the paper clips to be useful in a couple of different ways. I wanted the glue to hold faster uh, than it was holding for me. And so I used those, uh, for example, in the one where you want to fold them over. I used them to hold all the pieces together until they were glued enough that when I held them apart, they wouldn't separate on their own. But it's not only for two dimensions. Um, when you're doing the small insides of a lot of the succulents, I found that putting the glue on, getting it in the position I wanted, and then kind of forcing a V-shape to hold them was extremely helpful as well, until it dried enough that I could add on the next extra couple of layers. Thank you for following along, guys. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope to see you back next month, where we are going to be working on a cardboard lantern, which sounds kind of ghetto, but I promise it won't be. Thanks, guys. Bye.